very explosive, isn't he? Nick Ball. And against um, a mirror image, really, in terms of his opponent. He's very similar in height and uh, is an explosive puncher himself. And there's uh, an example of that, that right then downstairs. So, yes, this one should be a cracker. Dog Bay, very experienced, starting this contest high guard. There's not a lot getting through, you see there. Hitting the arms, hitting the gloves. These are heavy shots in the early round from Nick Ball. A lot of them being taken on the arms and the gloves of Isaac Dog Bay. It just lands, tries to land a couple of his own there in this opening round. He operates critics quite well as a safe board. They just got caught there, the feet cross. He it's got caught at the right time. Good yeah. combination there. Purple shots that he was landing. Good solid work by Paul in there. He's Paul and Paul Stevenson the same between rounds is a good start. You've taken control early. Keep doing what you're doing. And he's been very accurate with these shots so far. He's needed that tight defence, hasn't he, Dog Bay? He has indeed, but at the same time, ball's working well uh, in terms of the volume of punches. Changes from orthodox to side ball occasionally. Got to watch that though, Fletch. You're in against uh, a man who knows what he's doing and will watch out for that switch and maybe try and catch him if his legs cross. Good shot by Nick Ball, he was just slightly off balance there, Dog Bay. Just wondered if he was going to wilt under the pressure, but he just got his feet crossed a little bit. Both of them are loading, good shot by Dog Bay! Ball's legs were wobbled. That's a really good shot by Dog Bay right at the end of that round. Oh, and I just thought for a second there that Ball's legs buckled a little bit. Yeah, he was caught with a tremendous, I think it was the left hook. Oh, that, was a, that was a shot over the top, a right hand over the top there. Dog Bay complained it was sort of towards the back of the head, it might have been just towards the ear. His, his left ear, but nevertheless, he was troubled by that. I think Nick Ball, when he's in close range here, Fletch, he's got to watch out for the left up from Dog Bay. That's the danger shot. He really whips it in. Good punches from Ball. Look into the body. Dog Bay behind that tight guard. Nick Ball happy to unload. He'll keep punching all night. Firing in a double jab and then following it up with a right hand as well, Nick Ball. Good work from him. Relentless pressure from the man from Liverpool. Yeah, it's good stuff from Ball, but he doesn't want to get complacent. Dog Bay, keeping that guard height again. Good work from Ball, excellent with that left up. Ball looking to keep the pressure on, looking to mix up the attacks to head and body. He's been very accurate so far tonight. Really motivated for this one, Nick Ball. Yeah, great switch of attack, that wasn't it, from Ball. Went from the body and then the left up a foot due to the head. Wasn't too far away. Excellent combination again from him. Ball is supremely fit. He'll stand toe to toe all night if that's what he needs to do. And he's trying to gradually break down Isaac Dogbe in there. Bullies him into the corner. Shows his strength. Dogbe's the type to come back by the course as he came in right at the end of the round. No knockdown. And they started the count at ringside, but Victor Lockland said no. And for the second round in succession, right at the end, Nick Ball was caught. Unbelievable. Concentration right at the end of the round there. Can you make me that? No, no, he just fell away. Yeah. Yeah. See that one again, Flex. So a standing eight count for Dog Bay. He's dangerous, isn't he? Look at that, and a switch of attack. That's good work again from Ball. 
Actually, Nick Ball keeps switching stops. Oh, great uppercut! Body shot sets it off, and then he knifed that uppercut between the guard and dog play. Great punch from Ball. That's good work again from Nick Ball. The only thing I would say, Fletcher have said this before, you must concentrate in this type of a contest. You're in against a tough opponent. Good shots again from Paul. He's putting those combinations together so impressively tonight. Ball's going for it again. And Dogbe jabs out. And Ball has the chance to land that right hand over the top. But this is better from Dogbe. Ball continues to chop away at Dogbe. Continues to try and break his resistance break his spirit, the punching machine, isn't he, never stops, attack after attack after attack in there. That's why, like I said before, the concentration, you've got to keep it going in a contest like this. Ball is boxing superbly well. Good body work from Ball and then a good shot to the head at the end of the combination. Excellent work by Ball, finished off by the uppercut. Yeah, excellent. Good work there from Ball again. Jabs to the body, then jab to the head. Better response there from Dog Bay, that wasn't too bad from him. Got to be patient in there in this round, then he lands a really good right hand. Yeah, he does indeed. Thirty seconds to go in the eighth, and Dog Bay was wobbling. Whether it was off balance, legs were just starting to betray him. Lands a decent body yeah, shot though by way of bad. reply. So it's, it's, he's been well schooled, Nick Ball. You can see it. Ball starting the attack with an uppercut again. Oh, There's another one on left uppercut, ripped through the guard once more. Sharp work from Dogbe, but he just takes it, Nick Ball, and then comes back firing himself. Yeah, that wasn't too bad from Dogbe, but the response from Nick Ball. Oh, oh, oh. good shot. There you go, Fletch. Very, very solid from Dogbe, and he just took a deep breath and just held on for a second, didn't he, Ball? Yeah. There's three to go, round ten. Dogbay looking to start fast here in the tenth round. Yeah, he's come out as a southpaw here, Dogbay, putting his punches together. Oh, that's a good shot again from him. So that left. Good left hand from Ball. What a shot that was. Yeah, that was a great shot. Ball continues oh. to land those uppercuts at will. Ball there. Again, just keeping and maintaining that gap, not falling in. Look at this work again from Ball. Just maintaining that gap again, lovely stuff. And again, really tight guard though from Dogway, but he manages to get one through in the end. Yeah, what a shot that was. Been one sided, but this hasn't been an easy fight. Dog Bay's a, he's a class act himself, absolutely. Full credit to him yeah. for still being in there. Well, there's the final bell, ladies and gentlemen. After 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Kevin Parker scores it 118 to 109. Judge Kieran McCann scores it 116 to 111. And Judge Mark Lyson scores it 119 to 108. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC Silver Featherweight Champion and winner of the final eliminator for the WBC Featherweight World Championship, Nick. The Red King Ball!